Hey there, happy Friday. Friday, April something, something, 20 something, I think. I don't even know what day it is. 22nd, 3rd? Somewhere in there. Hope you guys are having a great, great day. Hope your Friday was special. Hope it's going amazingly well right now. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. I just popping on for a little bit. Having a little bit of fun with some color right now. Just putting down some magic solution, patent pending, and uh, brushing it on this paper. Hopefully it'll dry quick because I'd like to do some sketching or uh, add some color on top of it. So I'm going to leave it at this for now and let it dry for a few minutes. I'll come back to it. So what are you guys up to on this beautiful Friday? Well, it was, it was beautiful here in New Jersey, 60 degrees, 80 degree weather coming next week. It's, uh, it was fall yesterday, we're going right into summer. Spring is kind of getting lost in the mix, but that's okay. Sunshine is good any time of the year, for sure. I'm just grabbing some more paper. Uh, so I want this to kind of dry a little bit, so I put it off to the side. Hey Becky, hey Dawn, good to see you guys. Hope everything's going well with you. Thanks for, uh, for popping in for a little bit, I appreciate it. It's always great to see you guys in here. So let's just do some loose, little loose warm-up thing. It always seems I like the way the warm-ups end up better than things I'm focusing on. It's really weird. Um, it's kind of fun. Here's a here's a piece. I did this uh, a couple of years ago. I was kind of doing a uh, an interpretation of the Mona Lisa, let's say. It's kind of taking the Mona Lisa idea, face here, throwing some cool, funky colors on it. I did this last year at some point in time. I just happened to see the sketchbook I pulled out. So that's what this piece was. Kind of cool. Oh, we did some castles on here the other night. I remember that. So let's uh, we find a clean sheet of paper here. I'm running low on my sketchbook stuff. There we go. Here's a sheet. So we'll work with this one. So yeah, Mr. Mr. Uh, Sharpie's out here for for some fun. He's gonna. Did I just call my Sharpie Mr. Sharpie? Oh man, I'm uh, personalizing my Sharpie pens. Is that scary? I don't know. Maybe, but it's fun. It's all in the name of fun. <clears throat> So today I did something really fun in class. Hey, Timberly, how are you? Um, I did something really fun in class today. Actually, do I have any with me? Let me see if I can find the sketches I did in class. I think I put them in my notebook. Here we are. So I'm just going to pull this out. I'll show you guys what I did in school. Hey, do you guys want to see my homework I did today in school? I'm going to show you. Let's put this. Well, we can, we can leave this here. So my Architecture 2 class, um, they're doing their year-end projects, and we've been talking about brainstorming. Uh, we've been watching some videos, some Disney Imagineering videos, and just get, trying to get their creative wheels turning. Um, and they actually talked me into, they talked me into doing the project with them, which I think was brilliant. So. They're allowed to each select their own individual projects. Um, for example, one student's going to design a water park, um, and then they're going to focus on one specific maybe building or architectural feature. But his concept is a water park. Uh, another student, he wants to design a hotel where he can, people can go and they can watch the northern lights. Um, uh, I have another student, she is going to design uh, an equestrian center 
and the focus is going to be for people with disabilities, which I think is brilliant. I mean, and these are their own individual ideas. I really want them to run wild and bring their own uh, interests to the project. Another kid's doing an airport. Another one's doing uh, high-rise buildings. I'm trying to think. Uh, another kid. Another one's designing a house for a, uh, a spy. So it's really cool stuff. So anyway, so today we did a brainstorming session, and I just told them like, "Hey guys, grab some paper, pen, or pencil." And for the next 20 minutes, we're going to sketch. You get, we're going to sketch whatever comes to our brain. Don't try to focus on anything specific. Just come up with whatever's in here, general concepts for your projects. Put some music on and you sketch for 20 minutes. So I was doing it along with him, and I'll show you what I did. It's nothing amazing. It's not brilliant artwork, but it's just it's thinking artwork. And uh, for me, the thinking process is much more fun and engaging and rewarding and much more meaningful than the actual end results. At least what I do and what my class, my students do. So, um, so I was brainstorming, and these are really just quick brainstorming. So I ended up uh, time. I'm going to be doing something related to time and designing. I'm not sure if it's going to be an architectural time capsule or maybe an architectural monument that's dedicated to time. Um, so I just started sketching things and a couple images. You guys might recognize my loose sketchy images. Some shapes, shadow, sun shadows, maybe the pattern of the sun. Down here is gonna work almost like a timepiece or a time clock, like a sundial. Um, this is page two, I think I'm numbering page three. I was looking up clocks, I Googled clocks online. Um, digital flip clocks, tube clocks. Again, these are crude sketches, it's just, it's brainstorming. I love and I've always been fascinated by the brainstorming process. Um, this is just how I was doing it. I took some screenshots. Um, I have to do my presentation on Monday to them, so wish me luck. Talk to them about my ideas. And I just sketched another image. You know, I started taking some of the ideas, the clock idea, the flip clocks, tube clocks, and I started sketching maybe some kind of a building form. Um, and if it doesn't make sense to you guys, that's perfect because it doesn't have to make sense. Like, it's you know, it's just it's just getting ideas out on the paper. Nothing is wrong, um, and I might not use any of this, but if it's all stuck in here, right, all stuck up in your brain, it just gets cluttered. My brain gets cluttered, and I keep everything up here and file it up here. So I have I like to file things out here on paper. So that's one of the things I love about doing quick, loose style sketching, and brainstorming. Um, it's a whole area that I want to get into more and practice more and talk to you guys more about as well. So I thought that'd be fun just to show you. And it's even more fun that they said, hey, they call me Mr. Nick. They're like, hey, Mr. Nick, you should do the project with us. I, how could I say no to that? You know, I'm, I'm an architect. I'm their teacher. I, of course I'm going to do it. So that was a really cool thing that happened in school today. So I'll keep you guys up to date on my projects. And maybe when they're done with their stuff, if with their permission, I'll see if I can share some of their images they come up with, some of their designs. How cool would that be? Anyway, enough chit chat from me. Um, Becky, thank you, Becky, I appreciate that. So let me go back to my warm up and then I'll go back to the other sepia. I know Mr. Rue is on at 8.57, so I will make sure to end early to, so you guys can get over there. I might get over there for a little bit as well, but I appreciate you kind of watching me. Maybe we could, uh, I could, we could talk Ruins letting me be his warm-up act. Someone mentioned that yesterday. I thought that was pretty funny. He doesn't need a warm-up, man. He's awesome. I can only aspire to be uh, as amazing as he is one day. In my own special way. All right, cool. So just sketching some lines here. I have that clock thing on my brain now because I was talking about time and clocks. I've always had a fascination with clocks and time ever since I was a little kid. I even did my last major architecture school project about time. So it's, it's a topic that's always timely. <laughs> you get it? Guys, you're amazing. Hey, Julie, how are you? If you guys are here, say hello in the chat. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're watching. This is the unofficial something. Inking out loud session. Unofficial. Oh, maybe I did announce tonight. I think I did. All right, it's official. I think I said I was going to be on tonight. Um, you guys are awesome. 
So I got the warm-up piece going, tick-tock. I got maybe some kind of little clock thing going. I don't know. I'm not trying to draw a clock. But I have time on my brain. There's always time for time. I'm not going to make any more time pumps. I promise. I just found out. And then uh, after I do this sketch, I'll go back to the first thing I started. Hopefully it feels like it's drying over there. I can do some more stuff on that piece, the warm-up one. This is actually, they're kind of all warm-ups, I guess. Hey, if you guys have any comments or questions for me, let me know. I'd love to maybe answer some questions tonight. I always love answering questions. I, I like asking questions more than answering them. I, I have a secret, a secret dream job. I don't know if that's the right word, dream job, but a secret job that I've always wanted to do was to have a talk show and be like, like a jo like Johnny Carson Tonight Show, a talk show, not the new stuff. I don't really like the new format stuff, but Johnny Carson was amazing. And, I've often, I know this is weird, but I've often imagined sitting there, being at his desk, interviewing people, and not even famous people, just people, everyday people. People are all interesting in our own unique ways. And I'm really good at asking questions and having other people talk about themselves, but I am not great at talking about me. Cool, this is kind of cool. I'm, just, I'm sketching maybe a little, some kind of little cove pieces or trim pieces on here. Getting a little architectural down here. Again, keeping it loose. Now I have the uh, Tonight Show theme song in my head. I try to watch the clips of the, uh, the, I call it the Johnny Carson Show. I know it's the Tonight Show. I, I always try to watch clips of that almost every night before I go to bed. It's just some amazing, amazing television moments there, let me tell you. Amazing celebrities, just amazing interviews, just watching Johnny Carson bomb his monologues and his quick wits, uh, quick wit, pretty amazing stuff. Just doing a little bit of scroll work up here. So maybe, you know, I was, maybe this is turning out to be some kind of a clock or a timepiece. Maybe, hope you, hope you guys can see it. Kind of the clock here. I'm just doing like some scroll work like you might see on a mantle clock here. Picture this almost being like a uh, like crown molding you might see around the ceiling or some kind of trim or molding you see around the mantle on the fireplace. So again, very loose interpretation of it. Just trying to make these... Uh, Quick loose lines, maybe into something a little more architectural, more designy, design ish. I had a student today in class, and she kept adding thingy after everything she said. I thought it was awesome. So I started doing it, and she, uh, she took it as a form of compliment and flattering and it's kind of cool actually to connect. Hello, Siri. That's okay, Siri. I wasn't asking you. Siri's talking to me. I didn't ask you anything. Weird. I love finding different ways to engage with people and to talk to them and to listen to them. I think listening is an often underappreciated skill. You know, just stop and just listen. Really, really listen to people, to the sounds around you. Sometimes we take our senses for granted, right? I know I'm going a little deep here, but it's inking out loud, and I am just inking out loud. Hope you guys are awesome. Um hey. Am I listening to jazz? You lines seem jazzy. Ooh, that's interesting. 
So good question, Becky. So I have uh, on shuffle. Um, I was listening to some Mel John Mellencamp was playing before uh, some Batman theme music, um, some Collective Soul was playing as well. Uh, what else was going on in the background there? When I, before I came on, I had some uh, Metallica playing. I do. I really like jazz music, and I really love actually doing schoolwork with some uh, jazz slash like jazz electronica type music. I find it. I can really focus well when I listen to that music. That's so cool. You said that. I like how you're relating music to drawing and line styles, and that happens all the time. I really gotta start playing music so you guys can hear it. I say that every time I'm on. I think it would really change the dynamic of what I'm doing a little bit and give you more more of an insight of what I'm hearing and how, and how I'm reacting to it. So I'm gonna work on that. If you guys think that's a cool idea, let me know. Just give me a thumbs up or something. If you think it'd be cool to hear music while I'm doing this. Or if you'd like to hear me talk less, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up to talking less or thumbs up to more music? Wait, I won't know what the thumbs up is for. Either put in the chat, put more music, or yes, music, less talk, something like that. Always want to know what you guys are thinking. Since you're always watching, I kind of want to uh, respond to what you guys like as well, you know? If I'm too chatty, say, hey, you're too chatty. I just want to do art stuff. Tell me more about art stuff. I don't care about listening more. Care about what you're saying, Mr. Nick. I'm just kidding. Cool. Yeah, this is. I like the sketches. Turn out to be pretty fun. I'm gonna add some. You know how I like to add some background colors to the pop thing. So let's add some color. Um, I already have my magic solution open, so we're gonna just brush on some magic solution here. I have to say, it's really smelling bad. This magic solution. I wonder if this stuff has a shelf life. Pretty nasty. 815, we're doing okay on time, so I'll wrap up um, 845 the latest tonight. So you can all bug out and click on the uh, on Ru's link. Make sure you watch him tonight. Tell him I sent you. I'm oh, just kidding. I've already committed to not spending any money tonight. If I, uh, if the pieces are being sold. So just by adding this magic solution background, you can see this silhouettes popping out a little bit. There we go. Right, I think just adding that kind of really makes it pop out a little bit more. That looks pretty good for now. We'll just leave that a little bit. Let me, uh, let me see. That looks better. Let's turn the light off. I think it looks better now. So cool. Yeah, so we have this kind of quick sketch warm up. Yeah, I was talking about time clock, so I have maybe uh, some kind of a time piece here. Right? We'll let our imaginations kind of see what's happening. You know, let them. Imagine. That's what our imaginations do, right? So I'm going to put this aside and bring back the other one I, I painted up before. I'm going to let this dry. Here we go. 
So this is the one I put the color on before. It's still a little damp. Uh, Sharpie doesn't always work well on damp paper. I'll try it if it doesn't work. Actually, no, I'm going to break up. No, 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 no. No, no, I know what I want to do. I'm change up my gears a little bit. I'm opening my drawer with acrylic paint. I'm going to break up some acrylic. The color I want to use. Maybe we'll use this. George Harrison's plane. This is good stuff. All right, well, let's go with this. Not too much about it. So I'm going to pull out some. This is light blue permanent. It's called just acrylic paint, and I'm going to throw some acrylic paint on this background. I'm going to just use the paint right out of the tube. Let me get a three quarter inch brush. I have one here, and we're just going to uh, do some quick some. Let's count how many times I say quick tonight. Let's play the quick game. I think I've said it maybe 20 times. We'll have the quick game going on. Hey, most people listen to React, unfortunately, not to understand. Becky, that's really wise. Yeah, I, you're right. People listen to React. Did you ever have a conversation with somebody? i be honest. You're sitting there. You're listening to them, but you're not, this is, you're not listening to them. You're thinking about what you're going to say. Back to them right away, right? Without just letting it process. Let it process. Let people talk. Just process what they're saying. You'll have your chance to speak. If it's something really important you want to say, just jot a note down while they're while they're talking to you, so you don't forget. So that's a really good point. Use right term paper. So Thelonious Monk. That is awesome. Very cool. Right? I used to say the Thelonious Monk. The Lonious Monk. I never made it into one word. I always separate it. Uh, yes, looks good. Hey, thank you. Good evening. Heather and Dre are in the house. So look, here we go. We're throwing down the blue. I'm just going to make a little, some abstract lines on here. I love the, I love the color combination of the blue, the browns, the rusty colors. This will probably turn out to be some uh, a background, maybe for a grunge or an urban kind of sketch, architectural sketch. So you can get a, kind of get an insight into just how I create some of the backgrounds I do before I sketch on them. So I'm just taking, t I'm just putting the paint right on a brush right from the tube. Hey, if you're just joining me, hello. I see some people popping in the house. It's always good to see you guys popping in. I love it. I love it. I love it. Doesn't matter if I love it. I want you guys to have fun. Well, I guess I gotta have fun too. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it, right? Let your enthusiasm be infectious, right? Just put it out there. Put, put it, show that you love what you're doing. Show it. If it's something, especially if it's something good and positive. Don't be afraid to show it. Just let people see you having fun. Yeah, it's looking fun. So it's not the color is looking kind of wonky on screen. It looks like it's washed out. The cranberries just came on the radio here. I should paint something with cranberry color. I just want to lay down some more intense blue on here. Make some areas pop out more. That's good. I'm just putting some water on my brush and just thing, thinning out the uh, paint in some areas. I don't know if you just saw what happened. There was a wet spot of 
magic solution here and I brushed over it and pulled off the wet spot and it just left a uh, white spot behind. Yeah, this colors are looking really washed out on the screen. I'm sorry about that. That's not cool. Alright, I'm going to let this dry. I got some acrylic on here. Let's just do a nice little building sketch. I always have a few things going at the same time. Just how my brain works. So let's just, I want to do a, um, I just want to do a nice little building, maybe a little cottage or something tonight. Hey, thank you. Good, nice color combination. Yeah. I love that color combination. We'll definitely come back to it. All right. Got a little six by six sheet of paper. Focus a little bit. It should be better. Uh, let's do a little something, maybe cottage or so. We'll see what happens. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. It looks good. I'm just thinking, let my hand kind of warm up. Alright, let's just draw. Let's see what happens. Ooh, Queen just came on. How cool is that? Okay, I kind of got... So I'm lightly just going to... Not lightly, I'm just going to put some loose lines here. Thinking of drawing some kind of cantilevered piece. Cantilever is a part of a building that hangs out past the part below it. Maybe some kind of Jacobean type of building. Sometimes they call them black and white timber buildings. Some kind of a stone base down here. There we go. So we have some kind of like stone base going on at the bottom. There's some smaller type of windows down here.
maybe some kind of a slate roof maybe up here. I like to draw little finials on the roof peaks here. Just a little detail. Bring this roof down a little bit more. I kind of want it to sweep a little at the end, just to add some character to it. You know, trying to create not perfect straight lines, adding some curves, some wonkiness to it, makes it more playful. Some timbers going on in here. Maybe some are cross bracing. That's the diagonal pieces, the diagonal bracing. Um, so there's going to be some kind of shadow under here, so I'll just do some hatch lines, just to show this piece is maybe projecting out a little bit. It's not a per per perfect perspective. It's just the idea that some pieces are protruding out in front of the others. Give it some depth. Some Johnny depth. That's what we used to say. One of my jobs. We were trying to give depth to buildings. We always somehow Johnny depth always worked into that conversation. So I'll hold it up so you can kind of see a little bit of close detail. Hey Kim, uh, craftsman style. Yeah, it could, it's it's uh, related to. Arts and crafts style, kind of. This is a an older, more medieval style, Jacobean style. Um, England, very popular type of architecture. Tudor, Tudor style is another way to think of it. Good question, man. I'd love to just do like architecture, thinking out loud, like just talk architecture. That would be so cool. Maybe like sketch a building style. We'll talk about the buildings a little bit. Maybe they about the history of it. Um, how cool would that be? Would you guys be into something like that? You know, we could do like Italianate style, do sketch Italianate building, um, craftsman style. We'll do I, French, I don't know, French chateaus, uh, Swiss chalets, right? How cool would that be just to sketch architecture? Kind of like a more focused, like a more focused. I'm trying to say something more focused, and I'm not even focused on focusing on what I'm saying. I'm not listening to myself. I don't like listening to myself talk. Cool, right? So just adding some details. It's not the entire building, it's just a part of it. Sometimes we think we have to sketch the entire building. But just sometimes doing little pieces is really cool, and I love doing these little types of studies. You know, maybe this, maybe this piece, I don't know, maybe this comes from a building if I just do an outline here, I'm going to take it, my this pen's a little darker. Maybe this comes from a building that looks like this. I don't know. There's some kind of huge chimney is coming up in here. Maybe the piece we're talking about happens somewhere on the building, the detail we're sketching. There's some kind of roof dormers here. Boom, boom. Bring this across. Down. Uh, maybe there's a crock here, a crock like a curved timber beam comes across the building here. Maybe this building actually, the roof continues down like this. I'm just kind of imagining maybe with this building, maybe with this this shape, it's coming maybe from a, just a type of building that does something like this in form. Got some windows going on. Pieces like this. Maybe this crock, maybe that, there's a arch doorway in here to go in the building. Again, this isn't to scale, I'm just imagining a form or a shape. We have some chimneys coming up here. There's a few of them. One, two, three. 
some stone across the bottom, some windows. Some windows here. Maybe the roof overhangs, the roof overhangs, this kind of overhangs in here, it's dark. The dormers are here, there's shadows coming from our roof dormers. Kind of in that area. This is our main gable peak on our building. It's probably a very cool room up there. I can could, I could imagine a really nice studio or space or reading space up there. All right, so that's just a quick outline or form. So maybe this is part of this building. I don't know. Hi, Siri. Siri's tough. Siri's my friend. <laughs> um, pretty cool. Is it craft of What is in that room? Hmm, yeah. What, what did you guys imagine to be in this room? Great. Great point, Linda. I love that question. I'd love to know what you guys think is happening in this space. What would you like to happen in this room? Put it in the chat. I'd like to know what your, uh, what your brains are thinking on that one. I love how you're just letting your imaginations wander. That's one of the reasons I love doing this stuff. So I got like 10 minutes left. I'm going to add some, I want to add some, uh, I don't know, I'm going to add something color. You know, I'm going to actually do something interesting. I'm going to try something. Alright, I think you get the idea with the building. Maybe there's another window here. Some kind of beams across here. Alright, that's cool. Let me add some... I'm going to break out. I want to try some of this gold color and put it on here. So I got some gold watercolor ink. I'm going to put it on here. Just play around with it a little bit. Kim, you'd love the, oh, the architectural theme sketching. Okay, that's cool. Becky, sounds cool to me. Awesome. Julie, yes, yes, would love the architecture and learning about it. Hey. Guys, that's awesome. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe inking out loud. Maybe I'll, if I'm on twice a week, one night will be just free flow whatever, like I always do, and maybe one other session will be more focused on architecture. That would be so cool. I'm totally game for that. That would be fun. I better start studying architecture, otherwise I'm in big trouble. Hey, and also if anybody ever wants to come on while we're doing, doing inking out loud, you want to come on and kind of be a guest. I could bring you on camera. You could sh you can show your stuff. You could talk. Um, I can do that. We can try it. I have a link I could send you. You can go on the link with your phone. You don't need to be on a computer. And uh, I'll just we kind of go wait in the green room, and I'll bring you out like a talk show. I'll bring you out. We could do some chatting. If you're up, anybody's ever up for that, let me know. I'd love to uh, try it out. So I have a gold watercolor paint. I'm just putting it on here, maybe just selectively. Maybe I'm going to use it just to pop out some areas. I'm not going to do the entire piece. Mr. David Bowie is playing, We Can Be Heroes. I always love me some David Bowie. He was a quite, quite an amazing creative person. That is maybe an understatement.
Cool. So we got some yellow going. I am going to break out some uh, some graphite on here. I want to just gray up some areas. Oops. Look at my water. It's on this side. Sorry, my arm's sticking out in front of the camera. I have to move my water on this side. All right, a few more minutes. Guys, if I run over, I totally understand if you need to book bug on out to head over to see Mr. Rue. I no problemos. Go for, he's awesome. Part of me is hesitating because I don't want to spend any money. <laughs> I'd be so tempted. How could you not be with such cool, amazing artwork? So fun. It's just so fun. So I'm just, I'm just trying to indicate some glass on here. I'm just filling in some of the diamond pattern grills. I'm going to zoom down a little bit. So you can see it better. Ah, there you go. It's a much better shot. Should have did that a while ago. Live and learn. Live and learn. So I'm just creating some shadow lines in here. It's okay. I don't really want to hit that area. Oops. Uh, I'm just going to water it down a little bit, thin it out, make it lighter. That's that's cool. That works. Just a light wash in the background. Right? We can always make things work for us in our artwork. There we go. It just adds a little bit of background. It's not really picking up on camera. It's going to blot it a little bit. There we go, that's better. So this, I'm just darkening up some of the stones down here, give some more texture. Texture is another layer we can add to uh, architectural paintings. It's, Visual texture, you know, surface materials of stones, you know, feel rough, you can do smooth finishes. But we can try to convey those things in our architectural uh, illustrations. You know, buildings aren't just for looking at, but buildings are, architects were notorious for going and touching buildings. I'm not even kidding. We'll like feel the materials. Um, there's a textural quality about buildings besides just being very visual, um, you know. Um, so next time you're outside your house or apartment or wherever you live, give your building a little love and just touch it. Um, I know it sounds weird, but I, I, I know architects. We do it. Maybe it's a professional thing. We can get away with it. Yeah, this is, I'm liking this piece. It's turning out to be pretty fun. Cool. So what do you guys think? You guys liking this one tonight? You know, it still has the loose, sketchy style that I like doing. It's not as loosey-goosey. This was just a conceptual idea. It's a little more refined, but it's still it's loose in nature. There isn't really a perfect line on here, and that's intentional. Keeps it fun, playful. Everything's not colored in. Just wanted to add some shadows, put some yellow on there, some highlights on there as well. One thing I'd like to do is add some more texture. And I like to add some stippling, like some stucco. 
So I'm just going to take my pen and just put some stippling on here. Stippling is kind of just creating dots just near my pen. I'm going to hold this up so you can see it a little bit closer. Yes, I just put some stippling on the sky. That's okay. It's all good. The sky doesn't mind. I'm definitely going to come back and darken up some lines with my pen. I'll just do it now. I'm going to wonkify. I'm going to wonkify these timbers. I'm going to wonkify them by making them a little more curvy in places. Totally wonk them up. I'm just going to make up words the rest of the night. Or borrow words. I'm gonna wonk, wonk that up, pull that out. I want this to read like it's a little darker overhang going on in here. Color that up. Cool. So I'll hold it up so you can see um, the stippling I have. I added these dots on there just to give some texture, like a stucco type of texture. Pointillism. Yeah, that's a great word. Hey, Janice. Pointillism paintings are amazing. Holy cow. Yeah, check out the masters. Uh, names are escaping me. I want to say Soro. Was Soro a pointillist? Uh, oh, who's the other one, guys? I'm drawing a blank. I can picture his paintings. Oh my gosh, Monet. Did Monet do pointillism? Awesome, love it. Awesome, great. Thanks, you guys are awesome. You're a wall. Yay, Janice is a wall toucher. Yes, any urbanist fans, we all know what wall touching is about. I love that. Husband's listening to your eye heap and your brush work is matching to the music. That's so funny. I love that. Who knew? Art transforms many different mediums. Music, painting, sculpture, dancing, cooking, creating. Awesome. Hey, guys. So... That's this piece here. I can think it's pretty good. I don't know if I really want to add any more to it. I think it looks nice the way it is. Um, I will sign my name to it over here and I'll put just my know when I did it. I think we have another one that can go in the Inky Wonky Cottage book or calendar. Someone mentioned calendar yesterday. I thought that was a really cool idea. So maybe we'll have an Inky Wonky calendar available for the 2022 20, year. Cool. There you go, guys. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to stick around for a couple more minutes and work on this, and then uh, I'm going to head on out to our friend. If anybody's watching and you want to go check out Rue, RueDoodles.com. He'll be on Facebook at 8.57 tonight. And I will try to uh, pop in there for sure. But I do want to playing around for a few more minutes while my creative, creative juices are flowing here. I, wanna, I wanna throw some more blue on here. Soro, there you go. Hey, I got, did I get that right? Thank you, Julie, I appreciate it. I know Soro, I can picture like his park paintings and uh, people holding umbrellas and water, I'm closing my eyes and picturing it. Amazing, amazing pieces of art. Think about the time that labor and the love that goes into creating paintings out of just dots. Just dots. Dots of color. What an amazing art form. Thank you, thank you Julie, for finding that for me. Appreciate it. Very familiar with Brick and Stone, we're working with your dad. Yeah, Becky, that's right. You, uh, you know all about that. Brick, right? And brick and stone, it has a, it's a language all into its own. Dry laying, wet laying, cut stone, uh, river stone, quarried stone. Like you're so, it's incredible. I'm just mixing some ink and acrylic here. 
creating a background maybe for an upcoming sketch. I like this how it's dark in this area. I'm just really throwing it down heavy. I'm gonna let it dry that way. And I wanna throw in just maybe some more areas. Just really throw it down and we'll let it dry. This will be ready for tomorrow or another day if I wanna come back to it. Draw on it. I am actually kinda of starting to see some forms take shape in here. I'm just going to keep working this a little bit. I talked about subtraction the other day. I'm kind of subtracting from the blue. I'm taking some of the blue out, maybe carving out some shapes in it. Right, this has to dry for sure. But this will turn out to be a really nice background. And I'll come over uh, in the future with a Sharpie and work some magic on it. And then let's come back to this piece here. Juggling around, i got three things going on. So far my favorite thing tonight is this right here. I think this came out really cool. Simple, I don't mean simple as in to do, but simple as in not too crazy busy, right? It's a nice form to it. Here's our little clock piece we did before. I feel like I want to do something else with it. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Ch -ch -ch -ch. All right. So I'm going to talk and kind of wrap wrap up on sketching. Talk and wrap up. It is, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. I hope someone does. You can tell me. I want to add something to this. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I'm just looking at my desk here. I'm thinking too much. What is this color? I don't know. I'm going to break this out. I don't know if it's going to be good or, good or bad. This is a... I don't even know what color it is. Pink, rose. I can't read a color on it anywhere. Let's just break it out. It's a sketch, it's a sketch marker. So let me see if I could paint on it. I don't know if I could dilute it with water. Ah, a little bit. Yeah, it's not really water based. That's okay. If I put the water down and go on top of it, it dilutes it, which is kind of cool. There we go. I can put water down and it on top and it dilutes it a little bit. So I'm just coloring these little squares on our little architectural piece, maybe our time piece. Just pulling those out. Maybe this is a building. Maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe this is a building, part of a building with a clock on top of it. Yeah, add some more water. Pull this out. I want to make this that color as well. See so that kind of pops. It'll be interesting to see how this dries, this marker. So that popped that out a little bit, right? Yeah, cram hey, that's right, Beck. You've got the cranberry on here. Maybe that's why I picked this up. I listened to the cranberries before. That's so funny. Negative space, yup. Thanks, guys. Take care. Yeah, have a great day. Julie, thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you want to bug on out, Mr. Roo, Azan, 857, go check him out. He's awesome. And I, I will catch you on the flip side of the tracks. I might keep working on this while uh, I'm engaging in route with you guys over there. Cool. You guys are awesome. So I like the idea. I'm able to start doing some more focused once a week architectural type of more uh, talk about a style of architecture and do a sketch of a building of that style. 
we'll keep them loose sketches. And I like that idea, and I like it so much, maybe we'll incorporate that into the workshop. Somehow, when we start the workshop up in May. So if you guys want to sign up for the workshop, it's the sign-ups are still available. Uh, I'll have them up until like next two Wednesday, maybe, or Thursday. Workshop starts May 1st. If you want to learn how to do some loose style sketching with architectural, architectural theme, I think you'd have a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I appreciate you all watching so much. Actually, you know what? No, I, I'm going to, I got to head out. I got to, I'll keep working on this, but I'm going to bug it, bug out of here. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all so, so much. Have a great, great night. Peace. Live creatively. I'll see you. I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you all so much. Take care. I'll probably be on uh, tomorrow night or Sunday night. I'm thinking Saturday night. So hopefully I'll see you on Saturday night, okay? TJIF Janice. TGIF. I love that. So I'll try to be on tomorrow night. Hopefully I'll see you guys then as well. And we'll let go. We'll go a little bit longer. Peace, guys. Live creatively.